I see London. I... <laughs> they don't leap into each other's thighs. Time for the entire rest of the audience to go, oh jeez, I hope I turned mine off. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, good for Willie. She's got some famous cards. Storming the Bastille. Pardon? Storming the Bastille. Oh, Storming the Bastille. Right. He list, he bind up her balcony. He duked to leap into her thighs. And he list her tender tips. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> they f There's two there. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's see, under the fuzz. <laughs> they, uh, they, 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 they suck face. <laughs> Let's take a little pause. Right there. If you've seen my shows before, you know that there are landmines in just about every story I do, right? All right, there's certain works of literature one does not touch in spoonerisms. I believe the class already knows about Robin Hood, am I right? Okay, why don't I do Robin Hood, anyone, everyone? Friar Tuck. Very good, Friar Tuck. And Friar Tuck is merely the pip of the ice turd. <laughs> just in the story of Robin Hood alone, we also have Snuck Up in the Forest. <laughs> Locked up in the castle. <laughs> oh, we'll keep her busy for a while. <laughs> Moving along, we don't do Tom Sawyer. Who's got it? Anyone, Tom Sawyer? Huck Finn. Huck Finn, excellent. Ten points for Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am very aware of who it is that comes to see my show. <laughs> People who have actually read books. <laughs> You are taking that as a compliment, right? It was meant that way. All right, all right, well, the only reason they would say anything about that is about three years ago, I had an entire audience get mad at me for that one. We have not! <laughs> yeah, it really explains a lot about Texas. <laughs> That's where it happened. Next line out of the guy's mouth was, we saw the movies! Yeah, and it's taken me three years to come up with a retort for that, and I'm kind of embarrassed because I read it off a bumper sticker. <laughs> it's the best bumper sticker everywhere, and I actually saw it backstage here. It said, never judge a book by its movie. Yes. <laughs> I think everybody needs one of those. All right, <clears throat> moving along. We don't do a Midsummer Night's Dream. Puck the Fairy. <laughs> we don't do Treasure Island Fighting Buccaneers. <laughs> Which really makes Pirate Weekend out here kind of do football, too. <laughs> On a personal note, I am no longer allowed to dine at Fuddruckers. <laughs> you will never again look at a Ford truck with a straight face. <laughs> Don't sing Yankee Doodle. <laughs> Danky Yoodle went to London, fighting on a roni. <laughs> 
Gucci shorts. Okay. Next time you change your linens, beware the fitted sheet. <laughs> if your last name is Pitt, don't name your kid Shiloh. <laughs> After I grad and Angelina, thank you, Doug, for that one. And last but not least, here comes the quiz. So I'm gonna ask that everyone work alone on this one. Please don't tell your neighbors. Give them a chance to figure it out, all right? All right? And please, the urge will come. You'll figure it out and you'll want to shout out the answer. Don't shout out the answer. I already know it. Ready? Here we go. This is a test. Avoid a tale of two cities. Go. Good, yes. Good, good, good. All right, who needs a hit? Sounds like an ad for a plastic surgeon. A Britney Spears concert. Scully Parton's autobiography. Breakfast at Charlie Sheen's house. <laughs> a Super Bowl halftime show. <laughs> That's only half right. Only half right. So there we there we there we're right. turned out eyes right here. A sale of two. <laughs> Stand up, kick a bow. A sale of yeah. a sale of two. <laughs> What's a teacher without visual aids? <laughs> so Joey and Rudy are there, are banding under Stalkity, carrying a shunder disc, mooning in the stand light, risking frostbite when their pips lightly farted. <laughs> Ransom Homeo found himself in a pit of fashion. Kmart. <laughs> he lowers who drop the stool in the Mars, the Babbitt's Al, a Jer Fouliet. She was a cart spooky. Oh yes, she knew that beanage toys have pickled farts. So she says, near spot by the boon, that incontinent moon, lest thy thumb should prove incontinent as well. It depends. <laughs> she says, good guy, good guy, starting as such, Pete Swarrow. And he booked off her junk and he went hunting rogue, wondering who's Pete Swarrow and the deck's name through Fuckersuge. I went to college. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> Through fun pursuits, they went to the secret savers of Lyre Front. So Lyre Front is the Crown Teeth, a Mongolian, Millage Minister, Perch Chester, Hustus of the Teeth. He's a clown of the moth. He's a moistered clunk. I'm out of synonyms. <laughs> he says to Mount Sows, they hot gitch their woolly meds wound in bowly headlock. <laughs> yeah, after only done weight. I mean, really, they've nearly boned each other. <laughs> Oh, that's a keeper. <laughs> Romeo Mio says, oh, this fitter view of twigs, the county use the mapulets, is idly fended. I must tow go and tell pell my terrence. While he's stroking on the neat, he's got a file in his space, a hello in his mart, and soap in his hope in his soul. <laughs> That's at least a triple entendre. <laughs> but his dopes are hashed because right in the strudel of the beat is his fresh bread commercial and terrible heave of last year's flayed. They are cocked in little mumbad swing. Now, when you'll be able to taste the figure right, his new tape commercial has been lately funded. Commercial makes knocking soys. <laughs> and then he has a really spawn leech for a guy with a walking cest tube. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna shake it, Mark. No, 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 no. He says, Shazba. <laughs> you know you're just encouraging me. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel like a nim <laughs> Yes, and now I'm dating myself. <laughs> That's illegal here in Arizona. <laughs> but not in Utah. Um, <laughs> or Wisconsin, for that matter. <laughs> Everything's legal in Wisconsin, as long as it involves a dairy product. 